The city of Chattanooga held the last community input session tonight, asking for discussion of converting the old airport in into permanent supportive housing. Some people have expressed concerns about that project, and city leaders say these meetings have helped address the problems. Riley Nagel was at the meeting. Riley? Well, Greg, Cindy, we saw quite a bit of opposition to the proposal at previous community meetings, but tonight residents seem more interested in making the project successful. To me, success is not a roof over the head. Success is helping that person to achieve whatever their potential is. Marcella Murphy says she moved to Chattanooga from California four months ago to escape what she calls an overwhelming homeless issue across that state. She thinks Chattanooga leaders are working to solve the homeless problem. And I didn't see that happening in California. I just saw a worsening, a worsening problem. Murphy believes similar projects have failed in other communities because they tried to get homeless people into any kind of housing and then forgot about them. She says she's encouraged by this project because it appears the city wants to see the success of the individual. And uh, also just help them take responsibility for themselves. We can't, it doesn't work just to hand people things, but really people have to take ownership. Other residents want to see the old airport in become a community rather than another shelter. Ella Smith says the city is compiling all the feedback they get to put the project up for bids. The city council will then find a contractor who can make the project a reality. We feel well equipped uh, to start having conversations with service providers about, okay, here are some of the, here are some of the things that the community has said they'd like to see. Um, you know, here's some of the things we've discovered through these conversations. How do you plan to address that? Smith says they'll collect all the feedback and release a report to the public within the next two weeks. Live in studio, I'm Riley Nagel, Local 3 News.